began a 17 year journey of trying to find this elusive cure for being to become straight. Uh, I was even married to a woman for five years. I spent two years at a Christian residential facility in Memphis, Tennessee. I had three exorcisms, two of which were in New York City. And I did everything in my power to, to change. And although the treatments were very different, and they were in the States, Ecuador, and, and England, I received treatment, the basic teaching is the same, that there's something wrong about being gay, that it's not natural, that it can be reversed, uh, and it's either because your parents screwed up, or you had some negative experiences, or you're just misbehaving, and that everyone had different methods for fixing it, but all of it had to do with basically hacking a part of your soul. They mostly admit, most of the major XP programs, that you can't change desire. But you can change behavior, and you can change identity, they say, so that you no longer identify as gay. Uh, you have nothing to do with anything having to do with any sort of gay culture. You don't go to any parts of the city that might be gay. You don't have any gay friends. And you, um, of course, avoid gay sex and gay relationships, anything like that. And your identity is no longer, I'm a gay person, rather I'm a Christian, or I'm a, I'm a, um, a Christian struggling with homosexuality. But they would never admit that they're gay. They may even say they're former gay. Rarely will they ever say they're straight, though, because there is a little bit of honesty in that world, in that, in that regards. And it's interesting because these are people who have a real aversion to being gay, mm -hmm. yet they um, they still identify in part as gay by calling themselves ex-gay or former homosexual. So there's still a weird tie-in.